everyone. Welcome back. We're back from our cruise that we enjoyed a lot. But today we're going to come back with Cooking with Kim and we're going to be making a Alfredo sausage with andouille and smoked sausage pastalaya. While Daryl's getting everything ready, you go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll be back with you in shortly. <laughs> Okay, so what we've, what we've done so far is I went ahead and I just boiled up eight ounces of pasta. I usually use a penne pasta, but all I had was a macaroni. So we're using a macaroni today instead. We're going to substitute here. And I put one um, stalk, not stalk, but one stick of smoked sausage and one of andouille sausage, which equals about a pound for each one of the links that I put in there. We're going to have two cups of heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of essence Creole seasoning or whichever seasoning you prefer. If you want Tony's or something like that, you're more than welcome to use it. I just prefer this. And we're going to also put a half a cup of Parmesan, freshly sliced Parmesan cheese in there too. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put my sausage in here and let it start sauteing with my onion. And this won't take but about five minutes. This dish, this dish should be done in about ten minutes. It's very, very simple. As long as you already go ahead and make up your arm, um, go ahead and have all your pasta done, which is easy. And this is going to create its own, like um, it's going to have a little bit of grease to it, but not a lot because the andouille is a little bit different than your smoked sausage, and the andouille gives it a more of a spicier flavor, which I prefer. If you don't want to use the andouille, you're more than welcome to use strictly a package of like your mandas or whatever, you know, smoked sausage or Hillshire, whichever one you want to use. But it's about 12, 12 ounces, 14 ounces that's called for in the recipe. So I'm going to saute this down and when it gets through, I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to show you how we're going to put this together and let it cook down and it comes together real quick. See you back in a few. Okay, I've sauteed this down now for about five minutes. An onion, a half an onion, and my sausage. I'm going to add the pint, which is two cups of heavy cream, to the pan. I'm going to get two teaspoons of your Creole seasoning, whichever you prefer to use. And if you ever want to make this, I know I've said it before on here before, but you can just go on the site on Emerald's site and pull up his website and he has his recipe for this and you don't even have to buy it at the store if you don't have access to it. It's simple ingredients that everybody usually has in their cabinet to begin with. So it's a lot cheaper to make it yourself. That'll be my tip for the day. <laughs> and this I'm gonna bring to a bowl and let it thicken. And after it thickens, I'm gonna add my Parmesan cheese and my noodles. So I'm going to let this cook for about three minutes until it comes to a boil and it reduces a little bit and it'll start thickening up on itself because it's got the whipping cream in there, which is very high calorie, but it's going to be delicious, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, we're back. I have added the cream and I've added the Emerald's um, seasoning in here, the Creole seasoning, and it is thickened up. So at this point, I turned off the stove and I'm going to add my half a cup a Parmesan cheese, which I kind of like a little bit more, so I'm putting about three-fourths to a cup in there. But the recipe actually calls for a half a cup, but always add more. And stir this in here so it's good and incorporated in here and melted. And I always use fresh Parmesan for stuff like this. I just find that it melts a lot easier and it just incorporates into the dish a lot better. It doesn't get all the chunks like it does the, the other stuff. I'm going to add my noodles. And it really smells good. And you just stir it all in, incorporate it together. And this is good because that andouille sausage goes through this really good because it's got that little spice to it. 
It's really good. And it's such an easy dish. When you come home from work, you can actually make this and be through in 15 minutes. It's not a big deal whatsoever. And it tastes like you spend a lot longer on it, trust me. Again, this is just a andouille sausage and smoked sausage with an Alfredo sauce. And I just call it like a pasta lamb. It's not really a pasta lamb, but I, that's what I call it. And go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want next. The following week, I know that I am making a crawfish fettuccine because Daryl's daughter is coming into town. So I'm going to be making that for her. And it is delicious. So you will definitely want to stay tuned for that recipe. And... Y'all have a nice afternoon. Enjoyed it.